Important things to talk about tonight, like some thunderstorms moving through. That little thunderstorm bringing some heavy rain in northern parts of Johnston County. You guys in Clayton just finished up with this one. The rain spreads up into parts of Nash County. And this is not a severe storm technically, but it has dropped some pea sized hail in southwestern Wake County. You guys in Holly Springs got a little bit of hail with that. So let's not go to sleep on that. We'll keep an eye on that and the thunderstorms continuing to develop as we head up along the Virginia border. Look at the lightning starting to pop up with this one. That's going to roll right over Carr Lake into parts of southern Virginia and Mecklenburg County. Bigger picture shows two things. Number one, most of us are dry and will stay that way for a good portion of the night. But there's also plenty more rain back to the west. Only some of that will move through here later tonight. But our rain chances are still going to go up a little more as we head into this evening. Our temperatures today, they went up after four days in the 70s. Today, most of us made it into the 80s, and that's where a lot of us are sitting right now. Still, it was pretty comfortable outside. No complaints for the most part, as most of us had a dry day. But as we head into tonight, as we go hour by hour, you can see the rain chances will go up as we head toward midnight. The severe weather threats around for the next few hours, but it's not around all night long. We'll keep small rain chances in as we head toward Thursday morning, as our temperatures will We'll start a little warmer, but end up a little cooler throughout the day. More on that in just a second. So let's pick up the weather map tonight at 8 o'clock, and that first batch of showers and storms is pulling off to the east. But we're going to have another batch come in late tonight. This one, the severe weather threat is not really there. That goes away quickly. Overnight, we're going to stay generally dry. There's a small chance of rain early tomorrow morning. You got to look closely to see the little bit of green. So it's not significant, but it's also going to be a cloudy start throughout the day tomorrow. Through lunchtime, we're going to keep the clouds around. Then, as we get toward the afternoon and evening hours, the clouds start to clear up. But remember, it is going to be cooler tomorrow. Not cold, but noticeably cooler after the front moves through overnight tonight. So for the rest of tonight, up until about 11 o'clock, we are still in that marginal risk of severe weather. So the little thunderstorms that pop up do have the chance to produce damaging wind and even some large hail. So as we head into tomorrow, it will be cooler with that small chance of rain in the morning. Clouds will be slow to clear, but eventually we'll get there. And then Friday looks to be a really nice day. Highs around 70. We'll keep it around 70. Both days this weekend, both days have very small chances of rain. So obviously not a washout, but you might have to dodge a quick shower. We'll keep that small chance of rain in on Monday. Your 10-day forecast gets us into a dry stretch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with rain coming back into the forecast Friday and Saturday.